Hi guys, so I am continuing from the last video. So I am I was talking about this that 75% of the resistance will be between C and B at the current position of the wiper and 25% of this resistance will be between A and B. Okay. Or in another word, 7.5 kilo ohm resistance will be held between C and B. Um, 2.5 kilo ohm resistance will be held between A and uh, B. Okay. So this joining point this joining point is none other than B, right? None other than B because it is connected to B. Okay, that's fine. So accordingly, the resistance also will be divided, right? So I will uh, do a small calculation. So 5 voltage, okay, 5 voltage, 75 percentage will be they are in between C and B, okay? And you should know C is 0 voltage, A is 5 voltage, okay? So from B, we will have somewhere between both so we will get a voltage that is in between 0 to 5 right we know that already right from the b point b okay that's fine so 75 percentage of the 5 voltage we are going to have right so in another word we divided 5 by 4 and uh, multiply by 3 that is what that 75 percentage means right so if we do that so if we divided 5 by 4 it is 1.25 1.25 into 3 3.75 voltage yes or no so 3.75 voltage okay 3.75 voltage will be okay will be uh, falling between C and this point which point this point okay so this point is the point of B right because the wiper is here now okay so C is 0 okay and 3.7.5 voltage will come up to B so what is the voltage of the B? 3.75. Okay. So the rest of the voltage, that means 1.25 voltage or 25 percentage of the voltage will be shared between A and B. So that means here it is 3.75 voltage. Okay. Here it is 0 at C. At A it is 5, point voltage, 5 voltage. We know. A is 5 voltage. We know. C is 0 voltage, we know. But B also now calculated, now we calculated that it is 3.75 voltage. Okay, so 0 voltage, 5, vol 5 voltage and B is 0 0.75 voltage. Okay, this is fine. Hold on. So, according to the resistance, we can control this voltage that is coming through V. So, now what I said you is, uh, okay, let's hold it there. Okay, so since B is 3.75 voltage, we are passing the 3.75 voltage to A0, okay. So then from our calculations, you may remember, okay, we can understand what is the analog value that will be coming for 3.75 voltage, okay. So what we do, we divided 1024 by 5, okay, and we multiply it by 3.75, okay, we multiply it by 3.75. So whatever the value will be there. Okay, I will name it as x, then you have a minus 1. So you will get this x minus 1 value here. I don't know the value, I didn't calculate it, but this is the value we will be getting in the Arduino's console. Okay, serial monitor. That's totally good, right? <coughs> now let's say you want to change it, right? You want to change the value, right? You want to do something. So what you can do is, by doing something, we can move the wiper along this path as a round. You know the car's wiper is moving like this, right? In the window, car's wiper is moving. To one side it is fixed and the wiper is moving like this right here and here right when it is raining you can switch on the wiper and it will moving and moving here and here in this path like here here it will moving like this this path okay two side both side okay likewise this wiper also this green color wiper also can move okay so you can manually move it so let's say you are moving it okay so how to move it is in this in this picture look at this picture guys okay look at this picture this is very very important in this picture you can see something here right like this there is a you know cut so you can put a screwdriver inside and rotate it both sides okay this white color part you can rotate using a screwdriver you can put a screwdriver inside the cross and you can rotate it okay so what you are rotating is you are basically rotating the wiper okay so if you rotate the wiper so let's say at a position you are bringing the you are you are rotating the wiper this way and you are exactly bringing the wiper here like this okay 
so this is a variable resistant pathway this round pathway okay i mean this pathway it's a variable resistant pathway and your wiper is moving right so let's say now your wiper is touching in the middle right okay <coughs> so out of the 10 kilo ohm now it is touching in the place where here 5 kilo ohm is uh, say uh, what do you call 5 kilo ohm is uh, uh, what do you call uh, shared to the left side and the other 5 kilo ohm is shared to the right side okay so 5 kilo ohm is uh, resistance is there between b and a and 5 kilo ohm resistance is there between b and c okay perfect middle so now from your common sense since we are sharing 5 voltage between a and c and we are dividing the resistance equally and the voltage is also going to be equally shared to both sides so between b and c 2.5 voltage will be shared okay and between b and a also 2.5 voltage will be shared equally shared okay so since c is zero and b is 5 voltage okay c is zero voltage b is 5 voltage we know from c to a in this direction voltage will be increasing yes or no yes because c to a voltage will be increasing because c is zero a is five a to zero if you rotate this way a to zero voltage will be a to c voltage will be decreasing because a is five c is zero okay increasing side decreasing side common sense okay so since this is exactly equal dividing point and one side 2.5 voltage will be shared between b and a between b and c also 2.5 voltage will be shared so we know c is zero voltage a is five voltage and what is the value of b it is the difference of 2.5 voltage both sides so 0 plus 2.5 voltage it means exactly 2.5 voltage okay now we will b will give us 2.5 voltage uh, output right so that value will be passed to a0 and uh, yes a is 5 voltage b is 2.5 voltage and c is 0 voltage so a0 will display the analog value of 2.5 voltage okay guys you understand this a0 will give us the analog value of 2.5 voltage what is that we take the 1024 divided by 5 okay and we take it here and we multiply it by 2.5 so from common sense we should be getting the analog what is the two analog value of 2.5 voltage 1012 minus 1 512 minus 1 that means 511 should be the value so this one you should be understanding because for 5 voltage we are getting 1023 that means 1024 units and for 2.5 voltage it should be 512 units so minus 1 means 5 low so if you don't understand just don't worry if you understand this concept that's enough okay okay so you should now know by rotating this slowly okay the voltage is differentiating changing right resistance is changing in other words voltage of the b also will be changing obviously yes okay so if you rotate it okay what is the color i can choose let's choose brown no let's choose purple okay so if you rotate it this way okay from a to c now a to c voltage will be you can see the voltage of the b will be decreasing because a is 5 b is c is 0 so b's value will be decreasing if you rotate this other way around from c to a c is 0 a to 5 you are rotating in the increasing way you will see the voltage will be increasing so in, in other words okay if you rotate it from a to c voltage will be increasing and analog value also will be sorry voltage will be decreasing analog value also will be decreasing you will see it in the serial monitor if you rotate the other way around c to a voltage will be increasing and analog value also will be increasing okay the same you can see, uh, see here also if you rotate this from a to c from 5 to 0 voltage will be falling down and analog value you are seeing in the serial monitor will be falling down from 1023 towards 0 okay if you are rotating the other way around from c to a you will be seeing from 0 to 1023 analog value will be increasing because voltage is increasing you get it guys so <coughs> try to get it guys try to understand or otherwise rewatch the video so very simple scenario um, i will continue the rest from the next video guys